Hi, this is Christine from Gecko Gully Websites. A couple of people have asked me recently, how do we do free products on WooCommerce and how do we do free shipping on WooCommerce? Now, um, for the free products, the very simple answer is that when you're editing your product, you go down to price and you put zero in the price. Now, um, if you, then that's basically going to make it free. Another way you could do it would be you might want to say, well, the regular price is $5 for this thing, but we're going to have it on sale for zero, which means that it is now free. So that way you can say, you can imply that it's got a value of $5, but you're actually going to be selling it for zero, which is for free. Now, for people to actually get the free product, they still have to put it into their shopping cart and go through the shopping cart procedure. Now, if you're offering a free product and, and you have got shipping allowed on your website, depending on how you've got it set up, it may be that the customer gets charged for shipping. So um, like if you've got, let's say you've got shipping by weight and you say um, if the shipping is anywhere, sorry, if the weight of the parcel is anywhere from zero to one kilo, then this is the amount of shipping that is to be charged. Then because this particular product may have a weight or it may be a downloadable product where it is um, actually, you know, something that doesn't have a weight then you they will still be charged shipping because the weight will be zero for that thing so what you need to do to stop people being charged shipping is you need to tick the virtual box okay and what that means is virtual products are intangible and aren't shipped now intangible means things like services or downloadable products so if you've got a product that you're not going to charge shipping for, whether it is downloadable or a physical product, you need to tick the virtual box to stop shipping being calculated for that. That's whether it's a free product or not. If it's a downloadable product, like this particular one is, we need to tick both the virtual and the downloadable. And once you've ticked the downloadable, you'll see that it will ask you some information about that particular downloadable product. So in this case, um, we can say add file and we can give it a name and we can put in the PDF or whatever is the, the URL for that particular file that we want to deliver. We can also specify how many times we're going to let the person download it and how many days we're going to let them um, download for so like three days or whatever we want to make it um, you know we want to allow them to download it for okay so that's how you set up a uh, downloadable product how you set up a um, free product how you set up free shipping for a product so I hope this helps if you've got any problems um, get in touch with me via the website the link will be in the uh, description of the video below bye